I call upon Ash Ashok, who will be talking about close reduction. Is it enough, or uh, K wiring may be the ultimate? So it is always been said that it's bread and butter of orthopedic surgeons, and my boss used to always say, if you treat your wrist well, you will flourish in your practice. So the theme for our conference is uh, ethical and affordable. Uh, I will try to do justice to this theme through my talk. So my talk is close reduction is enough, wiring may be ultimate in a middle-aged patient. So there are various fracture patterns seen. Uh, there is extra-articular fracture, intra-articular fracture, there is dorsoradial <coughs> displacement, there is impaction. Different types of fixation, all of us know, all of us have done. Uh, the age-old technique of percutaneous K-wires, then external fixator, open reduction internal fixation with plate. And there are plethora of plates available. So many, so many companies, so many designs, so many other, way, other uh, plates available, leading to a lot of, lot of confusion. So, here I am to present a very simple technique of Kapanji technique in fixation of distal end of radius fractures. What is required is very minimum of instru uh, instrumentations like a drill machine, a CM 1.8 millimeter K wire with diamond tip, curved K wire cutter, a hammer and a folded sheet. So this makes it an affordable treatment. So this is the minimum requirement for a, for a Kapanji technique. A drill machine, three K wires, a wire cutter and a hammer. So I'll just go through some, uh, some uh, procedure. So here is a middle-aged male patient with displaced fracture. So this is the clinical picture. So basically Kapanji is like at, we pass in, into the fracture site at 90 degrees. And once we are at the midway, we bend it at 45 degrees and it is hammered till the opposite cortex and with the help of drill, the opposite cortex is pierced. Then we use two dorsal wires which follows the same path to correct the dorsal displacement. So that is what is Kapanji. It is advised to use a diamond tip K wire which will not walk through in opposite cortex and that has to be at 45 degrees. So this is the procedure where uh, a skin and a subcute cut is taken and then we do take care of all the tendons. There are so many, there are many extensor tendons and uh, that has to be taken care of. And a K wire is passed, it is passed in this way and we get this reduction. The K wires are cut deep in, uh, below the skin in this fashion and sutures are taken. So basic principle of Kapanji technique is the wires are cut inside the skin and the angle of the wire acts as an internal buttress. The 45 degree angle, it acts as an internal buttress which will prevent further fracture collapse. That is the reason it is advised to cut the wire inside, number one. Number two, we can mobilize the patient the, the wrist because the wires are cut inside. Post-operatively, we give an above elbow slab in full supination for three weeks. Physiotherapy with intermittent cock splint for further, further week and removal of K-wire under local anesthesia at six weeks and if done under axillary block, we do manipulation of wrist joint. Again, physio is started with cock up splint, more support for one month. So these are those, these are the dynamic uh, movements which are seen and we can see the fracture is inherently stable. So it is always advised that we should reconstruct the radial column first. So the, the wire uh, which goes into the radial styloid, so that will reconstruct the radial, it will restore the radial length in this fashion. So here the wire is going inside, the wire has gone so we have hammered till the mid, mid, midway, then we drill it further and we can see the radial styloid is nicely reduced. But there is a dorsal fragment which is not reduced. So further 
we use two dorsal wires in this fashion and we can see the fracture is nicely reduced and this now these three wires they are cut inside and sutures are taken and this is the reduction Again, dynamic uh, movements seen on Siam, and we can see the fracture is inherently stable. Can be done wide awake, valent, wide awake local anesthesia, no tourniquet technique. And above elbow slab is given. I always prefer to give a dorsal slab in full supination, and the MCP joints are free so that there should be movements possible. Evidence. Uh, this is a paper published in 1988 where it says result is better. Uh, better functional results, restoration of radial length had most significant effect on range of movement and grip strength. Another paper where 17 wrists were operated, 16 happy with surgery and outcomes of the wrist. Another paper, uh, here it says we appreciate our technique is not the only method of fixing unstable distal fractures, but it offers a simple, cheap and effective method for good clinical and radiological results. This is a paper published by us in 19, uh, 2019. It also concluded the same. So this treatment is ethical. So the, our, our theme is ethical and affordable. So Kapanji technique is ethical and affordable. Few examples, uh, a Coley's fracture treated with three K wires. Another fracture, another, uh, it is again treated with Kapanji technique. Now this is a fracture where uh, there was just a, a, a single dorsal fragment, so two K wires. Now here we can see there is a, a lunate fossa fragment which was displaced, so an, an extra fourth K wire was passed so that there was a good reduction over there. Similar case where another wire was passed and one more case. So this is recently done. Uh, a 40 year old male with intraarticular comminuted operated with kapanji so here at 3 weeks follow up we got this x rays and these are his movements excellent movements we can see almost comparable to the opposite side another case where uh, it was fixed with two k wires at 6 weeks follow up movements at 6 weeks follow up before implant removal so these are the movements which we get and this Implant removal was done just three days back and this is, these are the dynamic pictures. So the only contraindication to Kapanji is Volar Barton type of fracture where we cannot do a Kapanji where we advise a plate. So close reduction is enough, wiring is ultimate and wiring technique is ethical and affordable. Thank you.